How's it going, my fellow Casanovians? This is TC Casanova bringing you the videos you love, and I'm here with Your Dynamics. Hey, what's up? That's a uh, Their Dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was careful this time to announce it. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of time because uh, it took forever to fix this video. But uh, here I am. Uh, either you don't see me right now. And that's good because you only get to see me after this gets seen by my editor. Actually, my editor doesn't even see the raw footage of this because uh, my editor only sees it after it uh, goes through uh, the green screen effect. So I'm the only one who gets to see how stupid I look right now. Anyways, <laughs> uh, how you been either? Let's get right back into this game. We're saying wholesome family fun, you know, shooting people in the face. Wholesome family fun, uh, especially that text box. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you, random... I, I assume that's a mod. I assume that's just not, you know... That is a mod, game. yes. Ah, I'm going to go into god good. mode. I have no idea what we were doing. And when we were last here, because the the, the previous video, we were, uh, you know, being very sanitary and hosing off the entire population of that city with bullets. So now we've left back to a previous... Yeah, here we go. A previous save where we just had our sentry guns all set up. Do the same to anyone that wanted to pay us a visit back at our little encampment. So there we go. But we were starting to talk about uh, different types of factions and different behavior and like what was in the game in the vanilla game, what what wasn't, what uh, people have added on through mods. Uh, you know, creepy stuff like there's the siren head and other kinds of world events, that kind of thing. Which I did having in my horror series, but uh, my one friend is uh, extremely busy somehow. Uh, he, he's like never able to record. I wanted to do a video of him recently. Oh, I have a problem with my line with some sort of language thing that probably means that a SKSC is not installed properly or something. Whatever. Uh, not gonna fix that this time. <laughs> but anyway, my friends has been so busy, uh, Enrique calling you out. Sorry that you have to hear that either. Like the uh, the dangers of being friends with a comedian, right? Like if you give them too much shit, they're like, okay, the next show, yeah, yeah, this is going in, this is going in. What the is that fuck? This is that too. <laughs> I was just gonna say this is that too quiet thing, a little too quiet. <laughs> and now there's just uh, that is <laughs> extremely creepy. Oh, it's already super dead. Somehow the skeleton didn't. Uh... Let's I, see if we I can can't... find someone who's. Live I kind of don't want to take my eyes off of it. <laughs> it's like an angel statue. You... That is... Yeah. Okay. Verified the most dead. <laughs> well, it's clean now. <laughs> uh, what is... What, okay, where, where, where do I want to go? What's, uh... Oh, what is this? Let's fast travel. Yeah. Honestly, oh, let's not uh -oh. fast travel. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, welcome to my uh, my uh, oops, it crashed world. You can get to see that image. Uh. Uh, for some reason, some mod I have making. Fast travel, crash the game. I think I figured it out at one point, then I just didn't forgot to turn it off, and now it's still in the mod list, and I forgot it since then. Ooh, this is a this is oh, it's it's dead now. Okay, yeah. I say it could have been a bad load because like the fact that that body was just rigidly standing really there means it. Yeah. I guess we're walking. Look. If I can't fast travel one way, I'll fast travel another way. <laughs> That's how majestic, majestic this looks. Right. Oh, did you actually tweak the uh, the loaded cell parameter to be bigger in your game? That that might help a little bit, believe it or not. You know what that is? You're speaking magic okay. talk, man. <laughs> you're going to get to it later. There's a way to change the number of cells that are loaded in like high def uh, when you're in the overworld at any given time. And uh. <laughs> But the danger is that happens. I think the I think what actually is the problem is not the fast travel. I think it's crashing upon loading into that area. 
Here oh. we go. Here's where we were last. Remember, we had this going on. <laughs> hey, Nat. <laughs> yeah, we had that going on. Lovely. You just eat the entire populace in bullets. I mean, maybe they forgot. Maybe this was right before that happened. Jack trying, trying to murder you like last time. Okay, I guess we're following dog meat. Oh, quest progress. We're actually going somewhere. That's what that's the power of turning off all your mods. I guess we should like talk a little bit about the dynamics of Squizzard. We have not touched that in a long ass time. Hey, it's been a bit. It has been, been a, a while. I I have series three and four of the major plot points in my head. I'm not gonna spoil Ooh. them. Let's go. Uh -oh. All right. All right. The city guard. Yeah, I think they just they remember what you did a little while ago. So yeah. He doesn't want to be with me anymore because he's opened fire on them. <laughs> ah! I didn't do anything. Oh. You shot them. Buddy. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to get back into the dynamics of Squizzard. I don't know if you have uh, a brand new curated mod list you want to go through. I know there are several uh, of the, like the Wabbajack and the mod collections that have come out recently. You can help with uh... I do have lists in mind for mods. Oh my god. Nick, stop it. I feel like we used the command to stop this last time. Oh, uh, hey, uh, what's his name? I have no idea. He's from, uh, oh yeah, you don't know anything about this game. Uh, he, he, this guy is a part of the railroad. He's not attacking me because he's on a neutral faction with me, so that's how you can kind of tell that he's not, he's disguised. But basically he stalks me throughout the entire game. Creepy. But only because he's interested in me, because he thinks I'm, I'll be a good ally for the railroad. After the, the dynamics of Squizzard, uh, you said you had a whole new mod pack all curated and ready to go? Do I get any uh, I teasers? Do not have, or... I do not have the mod pack ready to go. I am getting it uh, made up. Oh, very good. I basically... I've had this addiction lately. I've been looking at new mods on the Nexus, sorting by new, seeing like, oh, that could fit into something. And then <laughs> building up thousands of bookmarks. As, as, as we'll typically do, right? Honestly, the, the, the modding community mods, has got more interesting lately. The combat mods have gotten fantastic. There's the, the complete, the 360 free movement. There's the Sekiro combat. I'm really impressed by the whole spread of, of uh, the combat mods and the animations. Like, really, people have gone nuts recently over, you know, over the, all, all the time people have during COVID. Uh, it's just it, it's a it's a renaissance honestly with, with, with mod production and new concepts and stuff that we never thought was possible before so yeah okay. <laughs> did you see there. that at all there's a big freeze for a second a window appeared over my screen maybe i have an awful game destroying virus <laughs> it could just be microsoft uh, you know, alerting you well, or something. same thing. Right. Danny. Knock it off, Danny. Oh, Danny boy. The pipes, the pipes are freezing. That's a good pun. <laughs> Why is he frozen solid? That's the weirdest cool. thing. Yeah. I'm only trying to freeze him. I didn't know that was a feature, though. He just kind of fell over frozen. Did you see that? Yeah. Did, did they have stuff where people shatter? Because I know some mod others put that together, which was neat and also disturbing in uh, Skyrim, right? Uh, I think. Maybe. That is a cool mod, though. I'm sure, I think it's lip... I think it has a ton of, like, script lag or something, but it is cool. Let's see if you... Uh, it's not... It violent Death? I'm trying to remember the name of it, but has all kinds of bizarre like like eviscerations and uh, there was a recent yeah, mod really... it was a mod that finally allowed the thing that you want for dragons to die in midair but uh <laughs> right but somebody out of it but it it caused some random crash i'm thinking like valkyrie for something 
so San weird. Francisco sunlights. And uh, for th- brand, I don't, right. nobody knows why. I don't think yet. I don't think it was fixed. Okay, boy, let's track him. Maybe something to do with how dragon are dead or spawning or something. Yeah, you can you can do enough together, damage pal. instead of using the kill command. If you just use so damage actor value on a dragon in the air, um, it'll it won't ignore it. It'll actually do full damage to the hit points, and then the minute it touches the nav mesh is when it actually does that. You know, it realizes that it's yeah. That's damaged but this mod it, yeah. like changes that so they can just ragdoll in air, and then somebody else made a mod for that mod, which makes them have a ragdoll sound effect when they hit the ground. Oh wow! wow. I think what blew me away the first time was seeing the dragon to like the crash landing and actually like deform the terrain. Even you know they they, they even changed the uh, the terrain, the the, uh, the texture on it when they when they crash like that. Uh, that blew me away to have that as a vanilla feature. I was so surprised they they spent all the time and energy doing that and it's it, it's fantastic. Uh, like it's it's hard to have a more dramatic fight than something like that. But, uh, in most situations, you won't be one-shotting or even killing dragons while they're in the air. Oh, yeah. and, and and even if you are, most of the time you're going to be okay with, like, after a long battle, that they come crashing to the ground like a jet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Let's talk with now, some folks. This, oh, mo- go, go this, uh, this quest might be broken now because of the fact that uh, he's just not with me, even though he should be. I don't know. Because of the fact that he's pissed off at me and not following him anymore. Nick. Bloody bandages. Yeah. Stop. Speaking of dragons and stuff, ooh. And, ooh. Oh, there you go. So that, it also fits in here. Because I know they have all kinds of weird bugs and, and uh, insects and creepy crawls in here, too. So from what I understand, that one of the big holdups is that you can't get new skeletons into Skyrim. So no matter what monster mutations you make... But all based on the same underlying skeleton, and then people are like, "Well, why would I, you know, change the animation if it's the same skeleton?" I have to do that, which I, I understand. Um, it's kind of, I was curious and looking around to see uh, other ways of, of uh, trying to get around that, right? Like, how do you? Haven't people how do you edit... made new skeletons? I'm pretty sure people so, have done new skeletons, custom question, skeletons. I, I would, if, if that's true, I would be ecstatic. I would love to see. Something a little smaller than a dragon, but still had air mobility. Like if, if you had manticores, if you had griffins, you know, anything else that could pounce you out of the sky. That wasn't just like this huge titanic thing where, you know, if, you, if you're fighting more than one dragon at once, you're just, you know, <laughs> turn the game off, right? You're you're usually kind of done. Uh, but uh, something where you could actually fight, you know, two, three of, of these different kinds of creatures together. It would it'd be a, a decent challenge. But one where it's not the same scale. It's not this, you know, obviously it's this, you know, boss battle level conflict every single time. You could... I'm sure there's a way you could just, like, cut, like, set the scale of a thing that's using the dragon skeleton just to make it smaller, even if it uses the same animations. You could just make it a smaller dragon. I, I think that the main problem is the same thing that you, you and I have seen when we uh, get a little too creative with the, the uh, set scale, is that beyond a certain point, the collision just completely messes up. And, and given how touchy uh the physics engine in here is for a lot of things that really does cause a lot of problems uh it's easily because it's one of his creature comforts Kellogg's there go. still out there um, we've got to track him boy what do you think boy so yeah you uh go on? It, it's a question of like um how easy is it then to uh, make a custom copy of all that including the collision boxes and then scale them rather than just using the set scale command uh, doing some kind of scaling on the back end so things don't get all weird and janky when you when you yeah to, 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 the same way that you do if you just turn the slider up and down in the end it's supposed to do it right <laughs> but never quite does. When you think things are working right in the creation engine, it, it's kind of like walking through a minefield on a peg leg because like <laughs> you don't know what's gonna go wrong and you also don't have what the leave my dog alone. But anyway. You don't know what's going to go wrong, and you also don't have the means to go around it because you have a peg leg. <laughs> that's the first time I've heard that saying. That's, uh, that's pretty good. I like it. Oh, there they go. Okay. Exploding into uh, pieces. Okay, yeah. So this is vanilla because I don't have any mods on right now. Because yeah. you know how unstable some of my mods had to have been where I couldn't even fast travel. I have a... Uh...
to order some command to like let you have infinite perk points. But I know in in Skyrim it's uh, ADV skill, up? like advanced skill. Okay, I just have to go up and down that way. I forgot. So where's a uh, heavy gun? So there should be in strength, I think. Or endurance. Uh, heavy guns. Oh wait. Uh, I don't have the strength. Okay, I guess I'll level up strength for them. Okay. That works for now. What were we talking about? <laughs> uh, so we were talking about uh, the the lovely metaphor of the uh, minefield with a peg leg, then yeah. uh, you know editing editing the core files, and uh, and then about the the uh, actual skeletal dismemberment or the the bodies that shattered apart. System corrupt. You like fix him or something or a Sultron? Where's the dialogue? Oh. What? Oh, there's a super meal. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he has a nuke. This guy's cool. Uh. What the? Uh, super mutant runners, they have they hold a mini nuke in their hand and just throw it on the ground. <laughs> which is always gonna to... kill you. Oh my god. I think it's a little upset with how they, they uh, depict you know quote unquote nukes here in games like this because like uh, if you want to see nukes. the real stuff even a tactical nuke, like if you if you want to go look up the actual Minuteman test from way did, back in the these, day. These nukes are uh this is a this is a kind of a world that diverges from our world. So nuclear technology is a little bit different. That's why the cars are all nuclear, and they all have a little bit of explosions because they have small nuclear engines. They're not. It's not like designed to like blow up a city. It's a. Uh, it's designed to be you know like a mini nuke. I know. I I, I get it with with tactical nukes and and uh, yeah a lower yield. But like we, we we had that. We had you know we had a. a the, something equivalent of a nuclear bazooka that uh, that some troops could manually deploy back in the day. That's the the Minuteman, uh, not not the not the the missile. I'm talking about an actual like bazooka. Um, mm. I'm 99% I'm sure I could swear it was called a Minuteman. I'll have to go find a link for you because it was Which like is fitting for this game. Is it right? Yeah. Uh, ironically, fitting for this game and also like one of the worst effing ideas ever. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just. It's not good. It's not like StarCraft. It's not all pretty like that. It's just bad in every way. So, so yeah. But, uh, we had some interesting policies back in the day for creating and dealing with uh, tile materials. Not the best. Did he just run that way that I could not jump around? Are we on proper now, Marsh? I think we are. The dog's moving around then. I guess so. I'll say, I, well, have to, I have to jump to get where he's going, though. This is weird. I don't know if this is working right. This quest is really weird without Nick like talking about what's going on. Mm. Timmy kind of fills in some lore on the way when you guys were running around. Yeah, because he'd be like, "Okay, look around for clues," but instead I just have to infer that I need to look for clues because dog meat is a dog. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? What's my uh, flashlight? What did I just do? What? Why do I have... Okay. Weird. I switched the security baton for no reason. Could be a fast melee button or something? Yeah, that's what I didn't like turn, but... What? What is... It? Why did this force me out of the camera? <laughs> Some glitch is happening. I don't know what. What's that noise? You think Nick has to be here to like activate some scene to like open a door or something, or is it, you just have to kind of wander around until you find a way in? Uh, that might actually that might actually be exactly what needs to happen. Ooh. Yeah, isn't this where uh, we have the crash when Nick was coming out of the door? Is it or is it different? I mean, I've never played, so I have no idea. No, when we were playing together. Oh, I I, I don't know the areas well enough to like from memory just say like, oh yeah, this is the spot kind of uh, kind of thing. Yeah. It looks like it because it's full quarter. I don't know. 
Um, their quest marker that shows there may be another door or something. Is that dog is available to be your companion? I don't know if you can uh, reach it. Where there's a will. Right. Uh. Where? Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think we are figuring this out. This may actually be good, a good, a good cut point, right? A good, so we could start right here the minute we get into Fort Hagen. Oh, okay. Work. <laughs> you must die. Slightly creepy. Uh, it would have been creepier if what? my mods were on. Okay. Uh, I'm glad we got all the. Uh, the uh, audio settings uh, f figured out. I know a lot of people have struggled with those in the past, and it's it's a and it's a big a hassle. Long ass time. Right. The good news is it's done. I think you're all set. So uh, yeah, I really got to go. I, I got a ton of stuff to do tonight before I get to sleep, and then I got to right. do the thing tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, man. In, in the meantime, hey, happy hunting. Great to connect again. Glad things are a little smoother. You got you got your internet back and all that. Yep. And, and, uh, and uh, right, awesome. I figured out this new recorder, so hopefully I'll be recording my new videos, and I have this awful camera, so uh, sorry for making you ha try to figure out how to make a coherent video out of this editor. Uh, <laughs> it's a quick save. Oh. It, part, part of it is, part of it is you, you needed somebody on Discord to be able to test that, right? So I, I, yep. I get it. Sometimes it's just like slugging it out through those bugs, through those headaches, so yeah. Uh, Alright, man. Hey, well, take it easy. Have a good night. I'll catch you soon. Uh, see ya. Cheers, thanks. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire